Today, we will be unboxing the Gohydrian Teleprompter TMP100. Let's go ahead and wrap it open. I'm just gonna tear the stuff off now. It's a fragile device because it's got glass in it. So I gotta be careful when opening it up. Alright, let's get it on. So I'm gonna pull out the bag from the box. And find the box somewhere it's supposed to be. So that's the box, that's a carrying case where I can put the stuff and when I'm mobile I can actually carry the bag and you know, pretty handy stuff. So let's open up the bag and see what's inside. the bag I got the instructional manual that tells me I should go download a teleprompter app that I will use with my phone or tablet hook it up to the device some instructions on how to set it up and then I got the baby right here I'm just gonna find a way to get it out of the box safely. Alrighty, I got the glass, I got the main panel. So I'm just gonna get it out. And place it safely in one place. I got the phone mount, that's nice. So if I don't wanna use a camera, I can use my phone for that button does that anyways so I got a set of screw holes where I can mount it onto my tripod or anything I can use to stand it right in front of me so I'm gonna lay that down somewhere safely and then I got the wood cover that's what I'll use to cover up the camera so there's no light coming in and it can look at me directly uh, without light interfering And then I got some screws and holders. And pretty much everything in the box. So I'm just gonna put the bag away and then go on and set it up on my tripod. Now that's the setup I ideally use before the teleprompter. I got a camera on the tripod, a phone, another rig mount. But right now, this is what it looks like now. I have it on a ring light stand uh, because my tripod wasn't strong enough to hold it up so I had to improvise and get it up on there. Let's actually now go ahead and check out what the final setup looks like after I got rid of my tripod and put it on the key on the ring light stand. Sometime last week I got a call for a freelance gig on an Azure service based on the referral of a friend. I felt super good that my friends know me for what I do and can refer me. But as you may or may not know, Azure has hundreds of services and I do not think there is that one person that knows it all. That was the case for this call I received on this day. I was not an expert in this service, so I had to follow the reference to someone else who understood that service way more than I did. Why this story you might ask me? My friends know I do Azure a lot, of course, plus coding and training. I do not know it all, of course, but I know friends in the field who are experts in the various other services. So as you gain expertise in this field that you are focusing on, make friends with others who are experts in other areas so we can all benefit from each other. You are becoming a good backend developer, make friends who are frontend developers, WordPress developers, hosting experts, CICD specialists. You are becoming a saxophonist, make friends with event planners, sound engineers, etc. Be known for your skill, but also have friends and acquaintances who are specialists in your skill. That's how I'll do it.